What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with solo leveling. We are live on Twitch watching this. So if you guys want to watch future episodes with me, make sure to go follow that. And I'll be live every Saturday watching it as well as some One Piece. But before we get into today's episode, I do have a question over in the Discord. If you guys don't know, we have a Q&A section where you guys can ask me any question for the anime and I'll try to answer it to the episode it pertains to or like the next episode I'm watching. This one comes from Evie Neeks, who is an avid question answer. Thank you so much. They ask... If you are in Jin Wu's position, which is the bottom of E rank hunters, what would you do? Keep on going as a hunter or try a different career? Maybe start a YouTube channel, for example. That's a great, great question. That's hilarious. But the only reason I wouldn't do it if I was in his, he needs the money. Absolutely. His father going missing uh, or passed away. I actually am blanking. His mother being sick and his sister needing to go to college completely understand his reasonings but it's like a contractual job where the more work you do the more money you get so he's he's only been able to afford a cheap really weak knife that broke on him like it's not like it's getting him money if it was like a base salary or a base pay and it was risky then that'd be something but he's not and i i, I understand his motivations completely but i probably I probably would start like a TikTok or something if I was him. Maybe do like a be the video recorder of people dying and say like, "Here's the Hunter news." Or something. it'd be rough. I can't say personally if I was in this position. Actually, I can't say either because if my sister was needing to go to college and my dad wasn't there and my mom was sick, I would do whatever it takes. Probably, I won't lie. As sad as it says, as sad as it is, I'd probably, I'd probably do it. You hate to hear it. You hate to see it. But shout out my man. Jin Woo, man, I, whew, I'm praying this episode goes crazy. All right, that was the end of the questions in the Q&A section. Don't forget to check out that Patreon if you guys want the full uncut, unedited versions, as well as early access to all the other shows I'm watching. Um, other than that, I'm not going to waste any time. Let's hop right to today's episode. I've heard it's going to be a banger. Also, real quick, I am skipping the opening. I know some of you are going to be disappointed in that. I've heard it's spoilery, and we like to go into things as blind as possible. This is one of the rare shows I know absolutely nothing about, but we're going to go into it as blind as possible. I I have to wait till I get approval from the community before I watch it. So if you guys want to be a part of that, come on over to the Twitch. I'll see you guys in the episode. All right, here we go. This episode is called If I Had One More Chance. The vibe and the tenseness of the situation has completely changed. Yeah, I need her to live through this. He did tell them the duck. Oh, his arm. I thought that was... So, I thought that was... Jin Wu. Still, that's crazy he lost his arm. Yeah. He's in shock. That does make sense. Maybe if we start... Yeah, let's... I'm just... God, Kami-sama! Kami-sama! I love how they give us this like little intro beforehand. It gives me like Hunter Hunter, old anime vibes. See, this gives me Hunter Hunter vibes. I love that. I just love a narrator giving us context of the story anytime. All right. It breaks my heart that we can't watch this, but hey, gotta do what you gotta do, you know? No, but... Did you just see what that thing did? You're gonna... Yeah, what are you doing? I mean, I like this animation, but... You ever hear you got knocked out of your shoes? Buddy's shoes are the only thing that stayed. Oh. Like stepping on a bug. It's a perfect analogy right now. It's waiting to see your response. How are you going to deal with the current situation? Revere God, right? Kami-sama! Kami-sama! Ooh. Never seen that much resolve in his eyes before. He's not a fool that's going to do anything half-heartedly, you know? I'm telling you, I'd be doing the same thing. It's that or die. 
Oh. What was his name? Mr. Song? He's kind of growing on me too. Oh, insanely freaky. Smile is creepy as hell. Yeah, what are you? That is a good question. How long do you stay there bowing, you know? It's so intimidating. Yeah, maybe we activated it with that. Ethnology. Okay. Shout out random and ethnology guy. Oh, just see the pool of blood. This music is kind of hitting though right now. I feel so bad for Juhi. That wasn't her, right? No. Oh my God. Thank the Lord. Bro, this gives me attack on Titan level death vibes. But he's got a wife and kid at home. This show doesn't give a fuck. Oh my god, this is brutal in the best way possible. I like how he's being... He's being observative and he's doing deductions. Run of the statues with instruments. Okay, you do need an individual at the statue for it to activate. I'm telling you, this man's deductions are saving their lives so far. Oh my god, great dive, great dodge. We need you on the baseball team, buddy. Did he lose his legs or did he break something? Is how my man is a savage. I respect it. He made it. She's singing the he lose his lower half of his body? At least his legs, something. I love how she's singing the choir parts of this. Even the music is giving me Attack on Titan vibes. Juhi, you can't leave. I don't think so. Okay. He lost a leg, okay. From knee down, it looks like. Okay, ankle down. God damn it. I respect him taking responsibility for this, but this is absolutely no time to be arguing. What is the what is the one more commandment? Now what's going on? Prove your faith. He really gonna give up himself as a sacrifice if anything Jin Wu feels guilty as well because he was the final deciding vote yeah I wish they would just make the instructions a little clearer you know are you telling me we need to sacrifice what is the amount of flames total six eight I see. So we go into the gates to go get them and do these dungeons, but after. Love to see that as well. That's why they go in there, shut down, kill the dungeon boss, shut down the gate. We have even more incentive to put an end to this right now. Okay. 
お母さん、今日も来たよ。今日、総意が遅刻してきてさ。Is that a mana stone? Wow, she is very sickly. That's sad. I like that she's just telling her day to her, though. Needs six total. There we go. Now the outer ring is lit as well. This is some real deal altar sacrificial ritual type shit. Now the music's giving me Final Fantasy vibes. It's like you're fighting a coil head in lethal company. You just gotta keep looking at it. Oh my god, stained with blood. He's gonna have a panic attack. Oh no, one of the flames. Oh no. Was she able to make it out? The more people leave this ring, the more the door closes. Yeah. You're proving your faith is staying in this ring, doing whatever's needed. Nah, don't leave too, buddy. As he just throws down Jin Wu, they're probably dead out there. You know Kim and Mr. Song want to leave too. Okay, it is a timer. They're slowly going out. I, I can't not say that because there could be. Yeah. He has saved their lives. A hundred percent. Shout out Jin Woo. He's gonna go. This is a rough situation. Now with a blind spot gone, the statues are gonna have free reign and just and kill him. Mr. Song in the two episodes I've known him was growing on me. Literally like one episode. He wasn't even, he's like, come on. I respect him as a leader. She can't get up. Oh no. Yeah. It seems to take a physical tax on you. Like she was bleeding from her eyes and stuff. Yeah. Oh. Jin Woo's gonna be the only one to stay? Oh, that's such a good call. <laughs> oh no. That's the one thing he got. Good. Had to knock her out. I'm hoping out there isn't death and they can make it out. My respect levels for Jin Woo. Mad high right now. <laughs> Way to have some humor at the end, buddy. I respect it. Fight till your dying breath. He is getting brutalized. Now he's getting heated. He's getting pissed at the bullshit that is the situation. Is this Jin Wu's villain arc? Starting and ending, and oh my god, he's getting impaled! He's still technically alive. Please, timer, go out. It's gonna stop. Please stop right before you hit him. Courage of the weak. You have qual. Your heart will stop if you choose not to accept. Will you accept? What in the fucking sword art online? What in the SCP back rooms am I watching? That's the ending? Oh, hell nah. It's rare for an anime to give me like Attack on Titan level just. Pure brutality, like, 
you gotta you gotta be something crazy in the head to come up with some of the ways people were dying like park getting split in half and then his eyes looking like like opposite oh like oh my god i'm hoping i don't really care about everyone else like kim and everyone else who escaped but i'm hoping mr song and juhi who were able to leave early are okay and do make it out my boy Jin Wu is going to accept I hope his notification at the end it's like when you're playing a game and you get the note but like I don't fully understand the context because I didn't assume this was like a video game like I assumed it was just like a parallel universe kind of like rising of the shield hero but maybe it is because he wants to be a player I just I'm curious to know the context of it and these monsters and this god who is crazy and this death and brutal like that was a crazy ass episode that was something to say the least i do like the occasional checkups on on jen Wu's sister and their mom like he has his motivations i loved his little low-key like a villain like monologue at the end there where at in like he was doing the selfless thing by letting others escape and having juhi get out of here but he was like, man, this is bullshit. All those people like Kim and the rest of like, you guys aren't special. We all have families. We all want to get out of here. Like, I'm hoping if they do pull some attack on Titan shit and somehow this player makes him come back, maybe strong. I don't know what sort of special power he's going to get. Maybe he's going to be the attack Titan now. I don't necessarily want him to be a villain and go against these people like Kim and the rest of them, but I'm hoping... You can call them out on some bullshit. So I'm cool with that. I don't know how this is going to go. I didn't get to watch the opening. That ending is... I love the visuals. It's trippy. The song is fire. I just have no idea where this show is going to go. I'm still just flabbergasted by people getting stomped on. Homeboy got his... Evaporated. Just his shoes were left. Like, that's crazy. This is crazy, man. I don't even know how I'm going to be able to get these on TikTok or, you know, YouTube. They're going to get demonetized. Like, oh my lord, this was so much blood. Absolutely great episodes, though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on this. Let me know your thoughts in that comment section down below. Check out that Patreon for the full uncut version. Goodness gracious. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. And if you see a double dungeon in a dungeon in a dungeon, don't go in a double dungeon in a dungeon. Peace out, Dapper Squad. Woo.